Alright, this is going to be a guide on how to use the chicken. The chicken recently got nerfed, it is now a tier 6, and its stats are slightly better, and I just want to show off how viable it still is to win even in arena. I do think that the chicken definitely deserved a nerf, especially in lobby, as it was absolutely broken, and for the most part was like the only way to win if chicken was in it. And I think even in Arena, it can be used very effectively, uh, as I try to showcase in this one. And I'll try to go over just like general tips and whatnot to hopefully improve your chicken play. So you too can get that abusive 50-50 like Leopard team and absolutely destroy everyone. Um, but as a tier 6, it is going to be a little bit less consistent. You're definitely going to be going for chicken quite a bit and failing. Uh, it doesn't work every time, of course. You do have to get pretty lucky and go against, uh, I don't know, you want to preserve your lives as much as possible early on so you can throw the later rounds and just shop scale and focus on that and hopefully you can get a 50-50 shot pretty quickly. If you actually set it up right, getting the support things like a hamster and goat, maybe alpaca, you can get a 50-50 shop in just like a few turns. Uh, the record for earliest 50-50 shop in the previous patch where chicken was a tier 5 was a turn 10. So now that it is a tier six, that might be two turns later. You could probably get it by like turn 12 now, but uh, that's still extremely quick. Um, so Goldfish is one of the support units that will help out uh, with the chicken scaling later on. The other one would be Swan. So those are both tier twos that if you can get on your team, not sacrifice too many lives, it's a great investment for the future. And since I got the turtle, I just went ahead and pilled the melon onto the thing that I know is going to stick around. Um, unfortunately, lost that round because my team is fairly weak. The mosquito happened to pop the melon there. I was taking the pugs, hoping the five twos would be enough to win that round. But down to one above lethal here. So looking a little sketchy. I'm going for a lot of early tier fours. I'm hoping for early buffalo. Obviously, if you go buy cell build, then buffalo is very good now since dog is no longer really the option to go for. If you get a dog, I haven't actually tested it out. I really should before I mention what my thoughts are. But overall, dog is okay for like tempo, but not something you really want to keep around long term. Uh, and this looks like another loss. So it's looking bad. I'm on lethal. It's turn seven and I still have to get eight more wins. I'm hoping for a lot of draws early just to guarantee that I go late game as much as possible so I can actually try to get a 50-50 shop. But there's the buffalo. Uh, buying cans, no longer super good, but um, I don't mind buying one or two on turn seven or eight, uh, especially if I can immediately buy the unit that I want so it's like you get a free apple kind of on that. Um, and then going for level three goldfish. So it's a little greedy here, could definitely lose, but happened to win that round. Garlic on the strong buffalo made sense. And yeah, so I'm getting to buy sell quite a bit here. Starfish, buffalo, starfish still a good scaler on tier three. And this alone is going to help us uh, get pretty ahead in stats. And there's going to be level three goldfish, but I want to wait for the early chance at tier six. Uh, and then just decide to buy a pair. Sure, why not? And then hope for uh, early chicken. Do have to actually buy something, so I open up a shop space for the level 3 goldfish first, but that hopefully won't be too much of a problem. Oh yeah, I can just uh, sell the draft by the owl. That opens up the spot. Doesn't get early chicken there, but doesn't mean I'm not going to stop trying. Uh, these pigs, they give plus 2, plus 2 for 1 gold, so it seems worth it for now until I run out of the buffalo triggers. Gonna go for level 2 buffalo, that's another chance at early chicken. Um, I don't know why I bought the beaver there, I actually shouldn't have done that. I think that was just, I thought I had a uh, buffalo trigger left, but I did not, so that was just a random mistake. The hamster, so on tier 5 you want to look for hamster and goat. Uh, freezing the pill... For Blobfish, uh, Blobfish is in this pack, just happened to never see any. Also, you want to like buy, sell crows to also possibly get early level ups as well. But yeah, looking for the hamsters, looking for the goats. The important thing about hamster and goats is the refresh triggers. So, uh, when you have a level 1 and you use up its triggers, and then you combine for a level 2, it refreshes its triggers. And then, if you happen to have another hamster in the shop, and you buy it onto the level 2... Well, not onto. You buy separate from the level 2, so it has its own two triggers, and then you combine. But you drag onto the one that already has triggers, then you can immediately get the level 2 triggers back. 
and that is the way to do it. And hopefully I can show that off, but I went ahead and got the goat here uh, by selling some stuff to buff this buffalo. Don't want to forget about the goldfish, so free some stuff. Uh, pretty much anything that you buy with level 3 goldfish is uh, one gold back, actually, so I want to just go ahead and buy sell those. And nice. I could try to position for a draw, but I'm on lethal, so I just deemed that too risky here. Using the goat triggers, gonna buy sell this dragonfly just for one gold free. And all right, alpaca. So typically, uh, alpaca is an interesting one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use it to try to get an instant level two tr uh, chicken pretty quickly here. And I found another goat, which means I get a level two goat. So I decide to sell the hamster so I can get this immediate level two goat. And another hamster. At worst, it would be free to take that. So not really like a huge problem, but I found the chicken that I needed. So didn't even get early chicken this game. Just try to set up well for it. This is like a uh, fairly good chicken RNG, but nothing like too insane so far. And I do want to actually use up the goat triggers here. So get two more gold. And then go ahead and roll for some tier 1s to freeze for the goldfish. And then next turn, hoping to set up pretty well for just buy-sell altogether with double goat and level 2 chicken. Usually, you don't want to actually start buy-selling until you have level 2 chicken. So you want to roll quite a bit for it first. But if you do happen to have like goat, you can buy-sell with level 1 chicken just to get the extra gold back. And then you start rolling for level 2 chicken. But I decided to sell the goldfish. Don't want to get too attached to it. Uh, wanted to use both the goat triggers here and there we go Okay, so buy this goat and then you want to drag the one that has no triggers onto the one with triggers to gain the two triggers back And so I gained four extra gold. So buying that goat actually gave me one gold <laughs> Which is pretty cool All right, there's another chicken. So want to go with this double chicken uh, You just want as many chickens as possible. I am on lethal So it's a little scary, but you can see the shop scaling is getting really quick and then instant level three means the triggers are refreshed once again. So now when I buy this pig, I get three gold back, plus I get two gold from selling it. So I'm actually gaining gold from just buy selling that pig. And that is just a wonderful thing to see. There's another chicken, gonna go ahead and take that. Um, kind of an awkward thing here though, can't buy another goat. Or at least I don't think it's worth it. There's another chicken, I just buy onto the weakest chicken to buff its stats so that I don't lose. Um, if you think if you have like a fairly good team, it's not bad to end on just a good like tier six to try to win the round and uh, That will hopefully work out and they position for a draw there That's very kind of them because if they put the monkey in the last spots Then I would have lost that but you know you need a little bit of luck with the matchmaking for sure Gonna go ahead and combine these chickens try to get an alpaca perhaps there's alpaca. I could take it one of the ways to uh, <clears throat> excuse me, easily pivot is to use alpaca. If you can get a level 2 alpaca, then you it helps with buy selling because if you like buy sell a pig or a chinchilla, you get that extra gold. And also if you find any leopards, once you get like the 50/50 shop, you can immediately get level 2 leopards. Uh, same with uh, parrots and tigers and all of that. But here just decided to take mammoth. I think it was the most stats and try not to lose. Looked pretty scary. 1 HP. They got the armadillo. And it's just barely a win. Love to see that. Um, yeah, just going to continue shop scaling with level 3 chicken. I mean, ended up being pretty good RNG here. So I decided to take the leopard first because another way to get levels is to use the white tiger. And you just have to make sure the white tiger has higher attack than the leopard. So I'm just buy selling. I bought the leopard first and then I'm going to buy sell until the white tiger has higher attack which is achieved there, and that's pretty good RNG there. Decided to sell the go uh, the goats, not really needed anymore. And now um, I'm pretty much close enough to 50-50 where I'm just trying to pivot into good things. Pepper and Swordfish, perfect little combo there. Immediate level two alpaca is kind of interesting. Don't normally see that too often. And I was thinking about it. I can sell the chicken here, get alpaca. I mean, if I somehow miraculously get a draw, then maybe I could get a bunch of level twos in here, and that would be wonderful. But right now, immediate level three leopard. If I could get a level two white tiger, I could uh, potentially get it to 50 attack and make the uh, swordfish level two, and that would be amazing as well. All right, level two alpaca also gives a tier six. It's a mammoth, not really what I'm looking for, but looking for parrot, tiger, or leopard here. 
or Rooster. Rooster's also a great endgame unit. You can also settle for other things, like Gorilla's not bad, Octo's also not bad, Lynx even, not that bad. There's quite a few options, Eagle, perhaps, uh, Gorilla even. And I decide to Parrot Swordfish instead of Parrot Leopard. Perhaps a bit questionable. I would probably say Parrot Leopard is the better strat here, but I do love Swordfish quite a bit. And it dealt 100 damage, which means it's killing through Melon. And there we go. There's 10 wins. I hope this is somewhat instructive. It does take a little bit of like practice and knowledge to actually get the chicken scaling going. And again, it's pretty hard and it requires a good amount of RNG. But thanks for watching. See ya.